Okay, so bash 2.05a. Now, straight away it says that before you attempt to install bash, you have to check to make sure distribution has the user lib lib curses the A and lib n curses the A files. If your host distribution is an LF system, all files will be present. Well, uh, presumably that means, for example, the previous LFS version, but the version 1 of LFS doesn't have those files. Um, if I use the right keyboard. Uh, uh, find... So it's lib lib curses dot a you can see it looks like there's nothing being found there at all on the system and if we look explicitly at user lib lib curses there's only a dot so there and n curses all right we've got the dot n curses so we've got one of them but not both of them Um, so it says, oh, if both the files are missing, often libcurses file is still missing. So if, so create libcurses that is a symlink, right? So what we need to do is to run this in here to link ncurses.a, which we have to libcurses.a. So let's do that. Done that by the looks of it. So we need to do it as root su minus c top in the root password. So now if we look at lib curses, what was wrong with that? Okay, yeah, there's lib curses. I haven't found lib in curses for some reason. Oh, because I was doing grep. Yeah, so. And we've got lib in curses there. So that's all okay. Now we can continue. Now, as I say, um, when I did version 205a of bash, it failed because um, the version of bash uh, was too new for the system effectively so I have to use um, an older version which I've got which is 2.04 so let's extract that and now there's another problem because we've gone to version 204 it won't compile with the newer version of GCC, which we've got, if you remember, we've got GCC 2.95, and we've also got the older version um, of GCC 2.7.23. Um, now this 2.04 won't actually build a 2.95, so we have to use the older version of GCC as well. So it's this main this problem is mainly caused because of the jump between Linux from scratch one to Linux from scratch four. So what we have to do is to configure slightly differently. We have to tell it to use the older GCC to allow it to compile this version of bash. And then we can type in the rest of this or copy and paste it.
Okay, and now we can run make, so I'll time this to get an idea of, very rough idea of how long an SBU is going to be. Okay, so that's built okay, and it took about 1 minute 50. So with the configure and install, I'm probably looking at about two, two and a half minutes for one SBU. So now we can install that. And that's it, we've now got our first tool in static there under bin so that's bash done just get this up here because I'll need that soon next we go to bin util so let's tidy that one up 204 Now, if we have a look at bin utils, you will see that it's actually a bzip2 compressed file and we haven't got bzip on the system. So what we're going to have to do is to build bzip. There's no, oh yes, it's the next package actually. So what we've got to do is to build this first to allow us to unzip bin utils. Um, so I've got to do this slightly different order. So let's look at bzip. Should be a gz file. Yes, it is. So that's okay. So let's do tar minus xzvf bzip2. Okay, so now we can run this, and this should compile with the default system one, which is Okay, so it's done and we'll install that now. So that's bzip done. So we should have a b. No, we haven't got that. 
Right, yes, we'll have to specify the exact path to access it. So let's get rid of that now and go back here. So we'll have to do LFS static uh, bin b unzip2 um, and it's bin utils we're using. And pipe that through tar. Right, that's actually that's wrong. Um, let's just check. I haven't actually extracted that. No, I was extracting that. It should be BZ cat. BZ cat. That's better. I wonder why it wasn't doing anything. Or it didn't appear to be doing anything. What it was doing is it was extracting the tar.bz file into just a tar file. So apparently it's going to take twice as long as bash to compile, which looks like it's going to mean about five minutes. Okay, and that's extracted. Okay, let's go into it. We create a temporary directory to build in and change to it. And then we configure the build.
Okay, that's configured, and now let's build it. Okay, so yeah, that 
actual make part took roughly twice as long as bash uh, but with the rest of it probably a little bit longer so let's now make install to install that Okay, and that looks like that's done. So move on. Let's tidy this up. So I'm not going to reinstall BZIP2. It's been statically built, so in theory it shouldn't be relying on any libraries that might need to be updated or anything. So I'm just going to move straight on to diff utils. So this is the first straightforward package we've got. Just copy and paste the commands as they are. And it should all work correctly. Okay, so I'm going to build and install this in one go. I'll just copy that. And it's just take a minute or so. Okay, that's done, nice and quick. Tidy that up and we'll move on to file utils. So let's extract that file. Now you have to be careful here because there's a file utils and a find utils. Uh, so quite closely uh, named and they've both, they're both actually version 4.1 so that adds to the confusion even more. If I show you, we've got file utils. Oh, and there's also a file as well, although that's 3.39, but there's a file utils 4.1 and find utils 4.1. So yeah, take an extra care, extra bit of care to make sure you're actually dealing with the right file. Uh, oops, So it says here um, that the statically linked file utils package may cause segmentation faults on certain systems. If your distribution has glibc 2.2.3 installed, it seems to happen mostly on machines powered by AMD CPU, but there are, but there is a case or two where an Intel system is affected as well. So if your system falls into this category, apply the patch. So the Let's see, we've got 
Okay, can't run that on an old one. So let's have a look at sources. glibc, we've installed as 2.0.7. So it says it only happens if you have glibc 2.23 installed. So we haven't, so that's all right. Um, so I'm not going to install that patch at the moment. But I'm going to install the patch as per chapter 6, it says in my notes. So let's have a quick look at that. Chapter 6, file utilities we're doing. Okay, what have I put install patch? Oh, I see, right, yeah. What it is, is I do need to put a patch in, but it's not the same one, or it's not the one, or not one we can do at the moment. So let's just take a look at that. File utils, static compile patch, yeah. Um, what it is, this is part of, uh, one, another part of LFS 1.0 not being absolutely ready for rebuilding itself. So the first thing was a temp directory. The second thing is there is no patch command. So what we need to do next is to install patch. So I'm going to jump again into this option, uh, this menu here, and install patch immediately. So let's tidy up that file utils. Otherwise, I may wonder what state it's in if I come back to it. And we'll extract patch. And at this stage, it shouldn't really matter what order we build things in, or not, no, not as important as in the um, actual final stage where we build it in the true environment. So it shouldn't really matter we're building this out of order as BZEP was build, built out of order as well. Okay, so that should be in the bin uh, LFS slash uh, static bin. And there it is there. So we've now got a binary which we can use. So let's tidy that up and go back to file utils so now we'll be able to do this patch but it's um one that i've done myself so it's going to be slightly different so i it doesn't really says say what it is it says um, it's to do with the segmentation fault, but the patch I've had to put in was to do with the fact that we're building, um, well, yes, it is to do with statically, but we're not building on GCC, a uh, glibc 2.2.3 system. So I've not called it file utils 4.1 patch. Um, I've just called it static compile patch. So that's not going to work because it's not in the path, so I need to specify the path again. So it's $LFS forward slash static, forward slash bin, forward slash, and that's not worked right. Let's have a look at the patch file. Uh, Oh, 
Oh, right, okay. I haven't done the difference from... Oh, it looks like I've copied this, actually. Um, let's put in find utils 4.1. So what it is, is it can't find it because of the depth of the directories. So if you don't make the change that I'm making to the patch now, which you don't really need to do, what you need to do is just change the patch command so that, that reads NP0 uh, just there. But now that I've put the directory in, I need to leave it as NP1. So that should work. Yep, that's that's fine now. So now I can build file utils as it is. So as I say again, because LFS 1.0, although it's a working system, it's not really ready to rebuild anything. Um, the temporary directory had the wrong permissions. There's no patch program, so it's not really complete. So that's why I've had to build patch um, before file utils so that I can put in the patch that's required to build file, file utils, otherwise it just won't build. Okay, so that's done. Yep, that 
that's that one. So now we move on to find utils. So this one's a little bit strange in that I'll have to run the configure first before I put the patch in. As um, I think it works on a file that gets created by configure. So I can't patch it. So now let's do the patch. Okay, just patch. Right, okay, we've got to specify the full path to patch again. So is LFS static bin. Yeah, that's okay. So now I can build it. And I think this is yeah, it's to avoid this variable conflict again, similar to the ones that were happening in um, Linux from scratch 1.0, where there's like a duplicate name as far as I can remember. So, yeah, that's built. Oh no, hang on, we've got an error there. Oh, that's interesting. I don't remember seeing. Oh, these. Oh, it looks like those patches haven't worked, actually. This looks like the sort of errors I was getting when I was testing this. Oh, interesting. So I don't know what's happened here to make this different. Exarg. Uh, right, let's start again. To run command at a time. So did the configure first. Send the patch. Now that's all oh right. We've got one failure. Make file dot reject. Oh, now this is strange. I had this bef this problem before where it didn't seem to want to take this extra option here and I don't know why. Uh, I couldn't fathom out why it was failing and like I said I'm not a C programmer, I'm not really up with these programs and the sort of details of these things so what I'm going to do if this happens to you just follow what I'm going to do which is to um, edit the make file and just put that in manually, which is this line here. Oh, is it that top line there? Uh, let's 
just take a look at that. Oh yeah, the CPP flags is empty for some reason. That has been put in the diff command. Yeah, that's missing. That's why it won't, can't find it. Uh, okay, so let me modify the patch. And add that in. So we need to put a minus there, I think, to so remove that line. And a plus there to add that line in with... No, sorry, no, it's not there because that should already exist. So put a space back in there. So that should work correctly now. So what I'm going to do is to start again. That's the correct patch command, yeah. Uh, sorry, I've got to do the configure first, haven't I? So let's do that again. So I've extracted it, changed it into the directory, configure. And now this patch should work. I'm not sure how that slipped through that emission. So let's recall the patch command, which is that one. No, it's still failing. Okay, what I should do is I'll just edit that manually. That's probably the easiest thing to do for now. Uh, him. Like I, said, I do remember having problems with this and I couldn't really fathom what I was doing wrong. Um, where is it? No, it's not that one, is it? It's the one in find. Yeah, that there, so I need to add in that, not that one. Is it still on the screen here? No. That's what I need to add, that bit there. Okay, so that is now correct. So this should build correctly and install. Uh, I think I'll just check that it's going to build properly first. Right, yeah, that's worked now. So some warnings there, but there's no errors. So in theory, make install should work correctly as well now. Right, I'll try and get make sure that patch gets updated to work correctly um, before I make the um, packages patches available.
Okay, so let's move on to the next package, which is Gork. So I think there was a patch for this, yeah, but it doesn't mention about applying it at this stage. So it's obviously for the final stage in chapter six. So we can just copy and paste this all in to build Gork. Okay, that's done. Let's tidy that up and move on to GCC. Okay, so 